and welcome to this week's Cutter at the Chateau where I'm with Mummy and Percy in the Marquis sitting room because we realise we haven't filmed in here for ages and we haven't got guests here today. My uncle actually is staying in the bedroom next door so that means that we can come and use the sitting room and also I want to point out the tablecloth because this was a gift that we received a little while ago and I've never seen it in the light like this and it's look, beautiful. yeah, it's just shining all the gold that's so beautiful. Very nice, it's beautiful. So nice. It's so in keeping with the room. It's too. perfect in here, yes. I love it. It goes very well with the chairs but you can't see because you're... Whee! It's going with the chairs too. <laughs> Though it does make you feel that the chairs need gold, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they need that little... I think all the, all the brass studs need polishing. Good, that's a job for you. <laughs> I'm not sure it's actually I, brass. I but... can't see myself. No, I don't think they are. I'm no. not sure we'd ever get those to be polished up. So I'm going off piste. Shall we okay. open a present? Yes, please. We're, we're on a mission. This gift has come all the way from Australia. Oh, goodness. And it's to Stephanie and Philip Jarvis. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Good to know they're taking your name. Yes. It's got a ring to it. <laughs> oh, we have a note. And it looks as though there were chocolate frogs, jello choc frogs, and in brackets, Maria. She says Maria next, because Maria her, unpacked this one. She's written, hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the chocolate covered apricots. I oh, cannot tell you how much we enjoyed those. Those were so good. Oh, yes, they went so very good fast. that there was none left for us. No, no, we you weren't here. Mummy, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> oh. I've told you before. <laughs> I told you if you don't live here, you miss out on the treats. <laughs> you should be here all the time. Hedgehogs. Oh, that one's cute. And it says happy birthday with birthday crossed out. So it says happy everything. <laughs> I love you. To dearest Steph, Philip, Natalie and all the staff of La Lounge, you brighten my day, thank you. A very happy viewer in South Australia. These chocolates are made in Adelaide, a company called Men's. Enjoy. Something a bit different. How wonderful. I love them. Absolutely love them. Oh, there's lots of things to open. This is wrapped in hedgehog fabric. Is it a hedgehog tea towel? Um, no, it's fabric. It's definitely fabric. Lovely. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. You could make it into a hedgehog tea towel. That would be doable. Not. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a like good idea that. to use fabric. Yes. It is. Isn't that the Japanese way of wrapping? Yes, wrapping? it is. It is. Can't the name and of it. Good, no. Thank you, We've got it. less trees that way. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. And you can reuse the bits of fabric that are sent. Exactly. Peacock napkins. Oh, nice. oh they'll go well in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And the blue and white of yes. this one in the kitchen and this one for outside. Awesome. Look at that. That's, that's lovely. It's a napkin size. Yeah, that's really nice. pretty. Yeah. The darling. It's very part. cute. And this one as well. Is that oh, Christmas that's a one? Christmas one. Christmas creatures. We could use that for wrapping again oh, at Christmas. That's so lovely. cute. That's adorable. Yes. Oh, and this one says thank you. Wonderful. I saw, I saw, a Christmas robin, an owl, a fox. <laughs> You're quite proud of that. That one's massive. Do you know we have a couple of these already and Pavlina loves So them. there'll be a little, there'll, there'll be a, a hedgehog with little hoglets because the other ones are way smaller. smaller. And you put succulents <laughs> yes. in them as little spikes. Oh, I think so they're we're wonderful. We're going to hand this to Pavlina to complete the hedgehog family. All those darling little hoglets didn't have a mother. Oh. And now <laughs> they do. Oh, oh wow. I That's love something. that. That's something. You know who was going to be fighting in the house over this mug? Pavlina oh, as well, I think. No, me and Maria. Oh, oh my goodness. Because Maria loves a very large, very colourful mm -hmm. mug. That's beautiful. Yeah. They are it's perfect. wonderful. Oh, it's so pretty. That looks hand-painted to me. It's really, really pretty. Okay, you're oh. going to be happy. It's an owl. Percy's yes. been looking for oh, an owl. Looking for but you, you think that could frighten them? Oh, yes. He's majestic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we have a pigeon problem in the attic, and Percy and Mummy are doing the sans et lumière to get rid of the pigeon problems. Now Percy has started using owl noises and falcon noises. Yeah. And at first he was using them just on their own, owl noises and falcon noises. And the pigeons were looking around, looking for the owl or the falcon. Couldn't see it, so just stayed put. And then Percy started to, I mean, it's actually quite heartbreaking, started yeah, to use sounds of an owl and a falcon and a distressed pigeon. 
And that seems to be working because they know there's a pigeon in distress somewhere. And even though they can't see it, that's enough to get them to move on. Yeah. However, Percy would like a backup and was asking me to try to find a stuffed owl or a figure of an owl to put there. So that they also, when they hear the noise, they see an owl in the distance. Well, we've got to... <laughs> <laughs> and it yeah. makes sound as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, but it's not really an owl sound, I think. Is it like a little bell? Or what is yeah, it's it? like a little bell, a little owl bell. Isn't that cute? I think yeah. instead he's going to end up on our Christmas tree, but you never know, if we put it very high up in the attic, they might think that it's the fact that he's very far away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Small. Oh, yeah, I have yeah. to find someone else to put it very high up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's actually going to end up on the creature tree then. <laughs> we'll put him on the creature tree at Christmas. Oh, mummy, mummy, you're going to be happy with this. For the garden shed. Gardener's hand cream, oh. with tea, butter. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Or we could give one to Pavlina, one to Ombeline, and one to Kirsty. Mm. That is three of them, and you could point over there. And we'll give those to the gardeners. They will love them, and they're so pretty as well. They're beautiful. This is for Natty. Oh, and I know that offended. because it's got her name on it. Oh yes. Oh. So I'm That's guessing pretty. that the socks are also for yes. our darling oh, little so. Daisy socks. Aren't they nice? Super cute. Babies? Daisy, mummy, Daisy. Daisy. We're, we're not Daisy! Get, we're not getting that <laughs> baby socks. I should know. Does she know something we don't know? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to love this little book as well. Sure. And then there's still something okay, else to look at. There's yeah? still something in here which says, she sits on the edge of a pot. Oh. Oh, <laughs> darling! Oh, a pink. That's our first pink hedgehog. Yes. Actually, could it's I true. try it with the cup, maybe? Wiped about. Well, we've got a smooth surface there. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. She needs a big pot. Oh. I think it's like a plant pot. It's a plant yes. pot. It's a plant pot. Yes. There you go. There. That's so cute. She's adorable. <laughs> She's absolutely adorable. Pavlina is going to be very happy because there is a hedgehog for a pot where she's potting the plants. There's mummy hedgehog and she'll have one of the gardener's hand creams as well, which is amazing. And we have an owl for the creature tree. The Thank pigeons, you. I'm afraid, get to stay a little bit longer, Percy. This one's far too cute to see. We, on, we, we only have two left. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, we've done pretty well. We've done pretty well. With the well. sign, yeah. I'll just bring a few more photos. Yeah, and he, more he's, owl he's photos. Put, um, big, menacing looking owl face <laughs> on the um, windows facing out. So, Smart. See, we, we see. think we didn't have this problem in the past Never. because we had an owl. And we did, we always had an owl, and we don't have an owl anymore. We had to put on the jetting out, you know, uh, space where the machicoulis are. Mm -hmm. uh, a chair, so we could climb on the chair to do that. Did you know yes, any of this, Philip? Did you know any of this? No. Yeah. Mummy, if you don't tell school. us, how are we supposed to know? Darling, you were not here, you were par monts et par vaux. What does par monts et par vaux mean? Mm. Mountains and valleys. Oh, uh, ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no valley low enough. <laughs> ain't Look no river wide. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's you what the pigeons are saying. <laughs> We were making our own mountains climbing on chairs. <laughs> yes, we were. Anyway, oh, he's oh, done dear. now. Oh dear. I haven't got a name to thank you. I just have a very happy viewer in South Australia, but thank you very, very much, very happy viewer in South Australia, because these are wonderful and you've made a lot of people very, very happy mm -hmm. with them. The next gift is from California. Oh, she needs to come far and well. I'll try and open it here. Oh my goodness, I can see some something space. on it that says wigs, hair pieces, costume. I've been looking through everything, I can't find a note, but I have found something that says costume items, Teresa. So I don't know if you remember, but we've been receiving several boxes recently from Teresa. We had a box of the men of Lalanne for the ladies of Lalanne. We got those amazing hats that we've been oh, yes, yes, yes. out. So this is also from Teresa. Ooh. Put this aside, and apparently it is wigs and costume items. This is going to be fun. But to have wigs. <laughs> This is another hard wig. Do you want to open that hard wig? Ooh, this is a costume item. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Very swanky. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that's pretty. It is a peacock, but I didn't recognize it immediately as a peacock because it's quite stylized and apparently it is an oriental peacock and it's an authentic reproduction of an early 19th century oriental porcelain, circa 1825, from the private collection of Georges Briard, I think it says. Cool. Yeah, but isn't that gorgeous? The colors are incredible. It is, it is splendid. And Percy, you opened this yeah. beautiful poppy plate. Your grandmother would have liked that. Oh yes, oh, and that's from Vienna. Oh wow. Isn't it lovely? It looks hand painted. It is very, very beautiful. It's extremely beautiful. Oh, how gorgeous. Beautiful. And lots more things to look at in here. This is a scarf, or it could be a pario. What's a pario? A pario is a wrap uh, over uh, a swimming right. costume. Because I have a black swimming costume. Yes. It's really elegant with it. Yeah, nice. I'm not sure if it's the right colour for you, Isabel. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a really clever one. This is one that just goes around your own hat. You see? I mean, uh, I'm showing it with As a bracelet? My, with my bra yes, bracelet. Hair it's very hair uh, bracelet. Moira. Moira but, Rose. No, that's actually quite cool because you can use it like this. I mean, it's not the right uh, colour for us. Around a sure. bun? Or someone. Or yeah, around a bun to give mm. just extra. Oh, yes, extra pizzazz. Well, oh, that's very nice. Extra interest. Little pizzazz. <laughs> oh, look at those, maman. Oh, that's lovely. Aren't they? Oh, that, are those shells? I think so. Oh, beautiful. But I've never seen a shell like that. I wonder if it says. It's mother of pearl, conch, and water buffalo horn. Oh, wow. 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 That must not be put in the dishwasher. No. 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 Philip will not allow that it's to go beautiful. in the dishwasher. It is absolutely there. beautiful. They are stunning. And have you seen just at the end, you can see the shell? Yes. It's so, so pretty. I love Mother of Pearl. Yes. Oh, well, we'll certainly use these. Yes, absolutely. And there's another pario. Oh, lovely. Oh, these I are like very stylish. Actually. Yes, I like that one because it's mostly white. Mm. Okay, so when I'm in this one, you'll be in this one. Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> well, it matches your outfit now. It does. It matches what you're wearing. It does. But oh. I don't need a shawl. Percy's found something fun. The Republic of Dreams. Ooh. Oh. These are the mottos of the Republic of Dreams. Liberty, love, yes. poetry. Uh, what? Poetry. <laughs> yes. I thought you were going liberty, egality, no. <laughs> fraternity. <laughs> These are the mottos of the Republic of Dreams, an ideal travel destination located in the mid-Atlantic, somewhat south of Bermuda, between the Sea of Clouds and the Sea of the Unseen. In this spectacular dream landscape, every destination is graced by an artist's inspiration, a philosopher's wit, or a poet's insight. Sounds wow. really fascinating. Oh, oh wow. how delightful. Look, there's bits that you see like the game. Oh. Oh. So you can. Lake Eros, the Bay of Whispers. Eyes and smiles. Of whispers and the river of dreams. It's a sort of fantastical trip. And something of desire. Mm -hmm, that's for you, darling. <laughs> the bridge of desire. Good old crossing bridge. <laughs> if a man could pass through paradise in a dream and have a flower presented to him as a pledge that his soul had really been there, and if he found that flower in his hand when he awoke, aye, and what then? And that was horrid. I think Alan would love to read that while he's here. That's my uncle. Absolutely, yes. I found him reading a beautiful edition of Aesop's Fables yes. Uh, yes. this morning. He thoroughly enjoyed that. Yes. Yes. Yes, I think he'll love that too. Oh, thank you. And there's still more. Ha 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 ha. Another oh, one. Oh, another one. And I think this might. Another one. I think these might be other ones too. Oh, so we've got lots of different. Yes. We've got lots of different um, colours, which is great. Yes. Oh, this reminds me of my English grandmother. Oh, you've got the wig stand. Yes, I have her wig stand. She had that sort of she had hair. rings. But sometimes she felt that it was easier to just put it away. And it was a little bit like this, wasn't it? Mm. Short and curly. Okay, these are amazing. I wish I had this colour hair. I may dye my hair this colour yeah. just to be able to use them. Look at those. Now... Is that Princess Leia? That's what I'm thinking. Oh my, that's a good bun, but this... Two of the size. Oh, is that what it is? I think yes, this is pretty good. Yes. Pretty good. But that one's very beautiful. Yeah, very nice. I just wish I had hair this colour. Wow. It'd be so chic. These are amazing. I could look like Philip. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
and then that, with a bit of that as well. We've got two more here. So very, very different looks. This is for a sort of wild, just got out of bed look. Uh, and this is very chic, but I like it because unlike the other chignons, it still looks a bit looser. Mm. Oh, I love these so much. So what do you think, Philip? He looks like Rizzo from Greece. That is the look I was going for. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's uh, cute. There are worse things I, I could, could do. do. <laughs> and well, there we go. I, I'm not sure Philip is convinced. I don't think he wants me to change it. It would just look style. exactly like my hair if I cut it. Okay, we'd look too similar. Mm. Still good for a party. Very <laughs> good for a party. Mummy, these are clip-ons. These are perfect for you. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they're beautiful. Mummy, they're so beautiful. They are. Absolutely beautiful. This is my brush. A pickle brush. I've got my brush. Matching turbans. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Which colour do you want? I am um, this purple. Oh, which are you? Which are you, Percy? Oh, I have a green one. Okay, so I'm going red. You're right. Oh, that's lovely. No, it is actually, isn't it? It. it no, that's something I could wear from now on. It does have a certain what? a certain chic. It's very forties. It's thirties. Thirties, yeah. It does have a real chic. It does. It looks really good on a day that you haven't done your hair. Look at that. Come down with that. I actually really like these. Mm. I'm not sure, Percy, that you're going to use this regularly. I think I'll use it for not cutting the gloss. Exactly, it will keep your hair out of, your, out of the way. And it's the right colour. What do you think, Philip? Yeah, that's quite elegant. I actually really, really like them. And there's a hairband with hair, you see? It's an actual hairband. Hair band and a beautiful heart for the Christmas tree. Oh, lovely. Very, very lovely. And another plate. And this one... This is Wedgwood, Eastern Flowers. Wow. Which I don't know that one. It's very pretty. And you've got a book there, Mama. A Chinese book. Oh, it's a diary. It's a little oh, notebook. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a blank book. It's yeah, so she's a blank book. Wonderful. More here. What is this? The Quest the front? for Freedom. It's beautiful. Yes. Lovely. <gasps> CDs. You can oh, take them for your car. Yeah. Because it's opera favourites. Oh. And in the classical mood, Giuseppe Verdi's Don Carlo, Beethoven's Fidelio, and Puccini's The Girl of the Golden West. Wonderful. Lovely. Oh, yes. And I think, what, there's still something else in here. What there we go. Oh, beautiful bag. bag. Beautiful bag. Wow, look at the embroidery. It goes rather well with my turban, I think. <laughs> uh, and your shawl. <laughs> Also, I really wanted to show you this. I think this is wonderful. This is an ancient Roman coin. Wow. Isn't that incredible, Mummy? You will love yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Ancient Roman coin. Get and another bags. turban, a really elegant black Ooh. one. I'm loving the turbans, absolutely loving them. I think the black one's my favorite. Oh. I like all the work that went into that. Yes, and a lovely beaded one here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really fun. It's very 2000s, isn't it? Belt. Wow. This is That's such fun. Lovely. Teresa, thank you so much. This has been really good fun. I love all of the hair things. These are beautiful and are going to go straight to the kitchen. The handbags will ask everybody who wants what with the jewellery as well. And I really love this plate. I find him so elegant. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I like the colour of this parcel. It's the Italian post colour. So this one's come from Italy, but it's just gorgeous. All the way from Italy? Yes, all the way from Italy. And it says to Stephanie and Lalanda. And we have a Maria note. A, this is adorable, just you wait. Oh. B, lots of delicious Italian biscuits. Crema di nocciole con cacao. Mamma mia. <laughs> and grazie mille. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Maria notes. <laughs> They're very good. Dear Stephanie, dear Lalanders, my name is Dorg, Sola Dorg. I used to be stray. This is my story. I was born about four years ago in the streets of Palermo, Italy, and in those streets I spent the first months of my life. There I learnt how to find food and how to defend myself from other dogs, some of them much bigger and more aggressive than yours truly. I'm kind of small. I was born in the streets and, although I'm a tough cookie, these streets would have been my final resting place had it not been for those volunteers in Palermo who rescued and helped me and to whom it goes all my heartfelt gratitude. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Associazione La Quercia Rossa. Now, what's this Quercia Rossa got to do with me? 
You see, a few days after being rescued, with the assistance of a flight chaperon, I boarded a flight en route to Turin, also in Italy. After landing at Turin Airport, by the way, cool airport, plenty of nice sweets and nice food to sniff and for the bipeds to taste. As I was saying, after landing in Turin, another volunteer took me on board of her panda car. It was a short but intense trip and finally I arrived at La Quercia Rossa. This is a sort of family home for quadrupeds. There, the scared little me received a very warm welcome and I met a lot of friends, both biped and quadruped, who helped me feeling at home. You see, although having one's neck saved is a fairly fundamental goal, well, that's not all there is. A dog, or a cat, a horse, or any stray animal for that matter, also needs a caring family. The thing is that, unbeknownst to me, and before leaving Palermo, La Quercia Rosa sent out a mayday to find a family willing to adopt me. Mm -hmm. The plea was successful, and that's why I was flown to Turin. Now I have a home, a stepbrother, also adopted through La Quercia Rosa. I travel, I get to stay in nice hotels where I receive VIP treatment, and I truly am one. Ultimately, I get to receive all the perks and attentions any quadruped deserves. Without La Quercia Rosa, I would probably still be at the dog pound in Palermo, or worse, I would be pushing daisies. Since La Quercia Rosa means so much to me and to my stepbrother, Pipo Dog, but also to my dear friends Fiona, Blackie, Bianchetto, Orso, Sakura, Maya, King, Yogi, Fulmin, Colonel, Colonel Ice, and many, many others, I felt I had to share my story with people who, I know, will understand me. I'm sending you a few gadgets from that wonderful place, just a few small things, apologies, this is what they had available just now, and a few photos of myself, my brother, and of the Quasia Rosa premises. Moreover, since I know you guys totally dislike sweets, nudge nudge, wink wink, <laughs> I'm also sending you a few treats from the Piemonte region of Italy. Thank you for listening to my story. Grazie. Kind regards. Sole and Pippo Dog. P.S. Apologies for the typewritten letter, but as they say in Italy, my handwriting, or in this case, poor writing, is that can poor writing. literally dog-like, i.e. it is unreadable. Yeah, funny joke. <laughs> and luckily, Sole has signed the letter. Oh, wonderful. But there's Sole. Oh. Oh. oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Sole in a grumpy mood. Oh, he's <laughs> looking in the sun. Mood. And this is La Quercia Rosa. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... <laughs> oh, look at that. Sole enjoying some snow. Pippa left and Sole right enjoying some sunshine. Oh, Pippa really in cute. relax. Oh. oh, this is a very good one. Dressed for a very swanky evening. <laughs> Pippa dog ready to parte. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> the Get horses it. that have been rescued. Okay. The wow. horse paddocks. And the cat. So it's quite a heaven. A haven, I'd say. Cat relaxation area <laughs> and more of the horse paddocks. Well, this is absolutely this is wonderful. Just gorgeous. Yes. gorgeous. <laughs> and their email is laquarciarossa at virgilio.it and they have a website, quarciarossa.it. We'll put that on the screen for everyone who's interested in finding out more about the animal refuge in Italy. And we've got some cats. Percy, I think you're going to love this one. Yeah, and frankly, Percy, I think this might be better than the pink bucket hat that you were wearing yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. So you should maybe still stick to pink. Oh, I'll stick to the pink. <laughs> <laughs> you two can be matching then. Maman. Chic. Very fetching. Yes. Mm. And it's good when the two of you match. It feels right. It's going to look like you drive on Ferrari. Oh, you said right. And we have all sorts of goodies from them. Pens. Buttons. What is this one, I wonder? It's a light. Is it? Yes. Oh, so it is. Oh, it's a light. Well, that's actually incredibly... Oh, don't shine in my eyes. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it's also a pink light, not just a light. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. very useful too. Yeah. And I think possibly the most useful thing of all. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, which will enable us to make some delicious Italian dishes Ooh. as this is coming from Italy. I would like cool. that, yeah. <laughs> I love risotto. Yeah, it's one of your favorites. I'm more of a pasta person. Mm. But my risotto is always without cheese, so... Yes, no, it's not a real risotto without parmesan, but look, I, we will never agree on this. And I'm allergic. I think Amory is going to like this one. Nice. Thank you so much, Sole Dog. It was very, very nice to hear your story. I hope that we'll have a good correspondence going from now on. Yeah. Do let us know how you are getting on in future. This is the last gift of the day. It is from Florida. And... 
Oh, we have a golden note. Oh, not only a golden note, but a golden note with a unicorn wax seal. Wow, that is elegant. Oh, yes. What? You unicorn. unicorn. Oh, look at a this. A golden oh. wax seal. Oh, no, wait, it, it gets better and better. Peacock feathers on the oh, inside wow. of the gold. Stained glass peacock. And stained glass peacock. Wonderful. That's beautiful. That's really cool. Lovely. It's saying here that this is a private note. Um, which is an absolutely lovely note, actually. So thank you very much. But I'm not to read it on camera. So I will put that aside and, and have a look at all of the lovely things in here. What's this, Philip? Shall I open it? For absolutely, you? go ahead. Mummy can open it for you, yeah. and Percy's going to open it. It's <laughs> <laughs> like pass the puzzle. Oh, this is all makeup and oh, oh. what fun! Oh, breakfast in bed, Stephen. Oh, my shadow in the bed. Okay, to be fair, it's really cute. Percy did the best job of opening that yes. any of us would have. Yeah, so you were the right person to open it's it. It's very cute. You know what? I think, I think we should put him here. Look, because we've got a little thing on. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, that's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Isn't that cute? This is so adorable. Did you see one? Yes, it's just. I'll see you again. Steph, look. Yeah, there's one. Look. Okay, utterly adorable. He's very happy. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is what my eyes are going to look like when you're bringing me breakfast in bed, darling, because it's the breakfast in bed beauty bakeries eyeshadow Ooh. palette. Forehead kisses, yawning. Oh wow. Forehead kisses, pajamas, French doors. Pajamas. Cuddle no. cake. You're missing the pun. Sorry, pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, adore it. This is great. So you see how she's going to be looking? when you bring me breakfast in bed. <laughs> Mommy, you're going to be excited about this. Brilliance facial oil overnight treatment, increasing moisture levels, elasticity, and antioxidants. Wow. So I don't know how you knew I needed that. Oh. Oh, Mommy, that is just... Oh, that's, this is lovely. It'll go very nicely on your dressing table. Oh, yes. Hydra plumping. Hydra plumping concentrate. I don't know what any of this is. It's plumping for the skin. All right. The older you get, the less fat you want everywhere else and the more fat you want in there. <laughs> so this is going to help a lot. Plump that up. And then the loose highlighter. Oh, this is the best, girliest. A, that one said peach fizz. Did it? Yes. That's, that's absolutely Peach beautiful. fizz highlighter. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. It shines, yes. There's a little bit of sparkle. I'm only putting a tiny bit. Yes, yes. <laughs> is that a tiny bit? <laughs> that was a tiny bit. Is it a lot? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> light <laughs> up vanity eyeshadow palette out of the blue with blue light defense. Have I you should. ever heard of this? I've never heard of that oh, before. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, well, all of those things. So eyeshadows with blue light defense. Amazing. So what? there's several eyeshadow palettes. Yes, this one. And I'll see what colours are in this one as well. Lovely. I love that one. I think that one's going to get a lot of use. That Eternal sparkle. light. Celestial yeah. thunder. Eternal thunder. light feels right, doesn't it? And I'm still very curious about the blue light defence. Ooh. Look at these. And it lights up. <laughs> It lights up so you can feel oh, on holiday. Wow. You can take that with you and you dress The best visible. surprises come out of the blue. <laughs> and there's something it's else. Unity. Oh, look, it actually, it sits up. That's really smart. Oh, I like this one a lot. Ooh. This is for Natty. Okay, so we'll put that aside. This right. is also for Natty. So we're going to put these aside for Natty. Wonderful. But I can probably show you what this is because there's one that says oh, that's for Natty and Steph on it. So I'll be able to show you what is in there. Oh, this is so much fun. It makes me want to go and do all of my makeup. Oh. What is it? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm not allowed to see it, so it's ready. Steady. Boom. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. So I think Natty has one too. I don't know if it's the same, but how incredible is this? It's yeah. beautiful. It's very so regal. So beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a lovely medieval sort yes. of look. It reminds me of uh, when Andy tried on one of the tiaras and I said she looked like a stamp, but I meant she looked like a, the a queen, queen of the Netherlands. Exactly. What's this one? A body wash infused. I know who's going to want that with lavender. Oh, do you? I, do. <laughs> I think <laughs> I knew it. I absolutely know my mom, bien sure. And this oh. one, is this another palette? Mm. Iconic London. 
I love the gold of this. Oh, oh but Philip, I've got one. every color I could possibly ever need. And I love the names. What is Mimosa, beach bronze. That's not something I've ever experienced. <laughs> oh, Heatwave. Bikini Babe again. Uh, oh, well, that's not true. One can dream. <laughs> this is for all the landers. Oh, what's in the side? Oh, here yeah, we can add these to our collection. Look at Malachite heart. I love Malachite. Lots of little hearts. So we'll let everybody choose their favourite heart. And a very, very pretty one. I think that one opens, actually. Mm. Oh, and everyone can, can choose. I'm going to see if this... Me, I can't. To give it to Stephen. I think you can maybe put um, a picture on this. Or something. Oh, no! No. Is this for perfume? It must be for perfume. Right. Yes. You, if you put perfume yes. on there, it will soak it up. Oh, that's really clever. And there's also a brush downing. No, there can't be another one. And, and brushes. And the best workouts happen in the shower. Oh. Wink. <laughs> the mint coffee scrub. That is my sort of a workout. Oh, these are lovely colours. Look. Oh, wow. Oh. Queen being. Actually, I really like spoiler. Sweet. I always go for the really sparkly <laughs> ones. Yes. Lovely. That's lovely. And the brushes that you already this is, this is a dream. Honestly, this is a complete dream. And I found a note that I think I can read, which says, I hope you all can enjoy the use of these beauty products to the amazing Lalanders. That's wonderful. That's really nice. Everyone's going to love absolutely all of this. Yes. Oh, wow. Hang on, what's that? Philip, did you notice what just got put onto the table? Is that licorice? That is licorice. I think so this can truly make, uh... is for all the Lalanders. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on. This is really fun. But look, this is really fun because you see it's like that, but you can open other bits. Oh, oh lovely. Oh, that's really clever. Nice colours as well. Really? Mm, like a midnight sky. Yeah. Oh, you're so romantic, darling. Let's draw so the Okay, we're going to go through everything with the girls and then see who wants what. There's a MAC lipstick as well. You're not wearing any, are you? I'm not wearing any lipstick at the moment, shall I? Right. Oh! It's a very nice red. Shall I try? Sure. Perfect for the summer for just a hint. Oh, you can of layer. Oh, that's yeah. more than a mm. hint. Oh, is it Should more than a hint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I can't see what I'm doing. So <laughs> I, I don't really know. Have somewhere, but I love it. <laughs> love it. Oh, and peacock hair clips. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, actually, Philip, I do want to show you these. Apple stands. <laughs> yes. They're going to be really, really cute. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with all of the girls. Thank you. This is incredible. What a day. Do you know what? I thought we'd opened everything, and I've just found one box with my name on it, which has the most gorgeous peacock earrings. Look at that. Oh, wow. They are so, so pretty. And another beautiful pair of earrings, which I love. I think I'm going to use both of these a, a lot. <laughs> Really, so, so pretty. Thank you, because we're gonna have the most girly time with this, aren't we? Not just us, but everyone in the chateau. I cannot wait to do my makeup. We need a party just so that we can all <laughs> have fun with it all. And my skin is going to be hydro plumped. Yours is going to be energized <laughs> over I love it. Thank you so much. Um, I won't say your name, um, because I'm not sure whether I was supposed to say that or not, as you didn't want the letter read out. But I want to say a huge thank you to you and to everybody who has sent gifts today. We've had the loveliest time sitting here in the marquee sitting room and thank you to all of you who are watching because it's because of you that we're able to send the ad monetization from this channel to a different charity each month thank you so much and i want to take this opportunity to remind everybody that we will be ending Caddo at the chateau towards the end of this year which means that no gifts that we receive from now on are being opened we still have a lot of gifts to open we have a whole room full of parcels so we will continue until all of those are open it's going to be several more months of videos and lovely days like this where we can sit together opening presents so thank you so much to all of you lots and lots of love and we will see you again next week bye everyone bye, bye. thank you